Oh man, this takes me back to my very first Let's Play I ever did on YouTube several years back was Oracle of Seasons, but I did the whole game while having minimum heart containers and always wearing the Cursed Rain. It was tough. Also, don't go, don't watch that Let's Play because, oh my gosh, the audio quality is unbearable. Uh-oh, Twitch chat is <laughs> peeking over the tracker, that's better. <laughs> oh, nice, I love Oracle of Seasons too. It's my second favorite 2D Zelda after Link to the Past, but there, I like a lot of the 3D Zeldas more. Yeah, I like Seasons more than Ages as well. I've always felt Seasons is more like combat and boss based, and Ages is more puzzle based. I like them both. Seasons is less backtracky, which I appreciate. All right, let's get things started. Just a new game. Oh man, it's been a while since I've played this. All right. Let's have max text speed. Also not sure uh, how much of the cutscenes are going to get skipped. Accept our quest, hero. Wah! Yeah, I, I, I... Okay, interesting. So it looks like we skipped the entire first cutscene with Din. Yeah, it makes sense that Seasons was originally going to be a Zelda 1 remake, because the first dungeon is extremely similar to the Zelda 1 first dungeon, and a lot of the bosses in this are carryovers from Zelda 1. Hi, Impa. Oh, please take my message to the Meiku Tree in Horon Village. The Meiku Tree is the guardian of all of Holodrum. Surely he can help. Well, let's hope. Hopefully the volume's alright. It's pretty quiet for me. Can you guys hear the game audio, like, at all? Because it's pretty quiet on my end, and it's going to be even quieter on your guys' end. You can't hear it at all. Okay. Let's change that. Okay, that's better. That should be better. Oh, that's right, we have no money. Hey, dude. I am Pippin, the expert arborist. I know plenty about trees. Let me tell you something, Blossom and I just had our first child. Take a look. Oh, he's cute. I'm Blossom. This is my first child, a healthy baby boy, but I'm having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? Ooh, good question. One, two, three, four, five. Only five letters. Okay. You shall be called... Pablo, after my star baseball player. You would name him Pablo? Yep. It's a fine name. That's what I'll call him. He seems happy to have it. Come visit any time. Yeah. I, I agree, Jay. Seasons is very colorful. Oh, man. Can't get that chest. Bear with me, guys. I don't think we start with anything. Yeah. We gotta find the sword fast. Hello! Yes, yes, you have reins. Alright. Oh, wait, I can't appraise it, though. Or actually, no, wait, I think... I think reins automatically get appraised, and you automatically start with... Oh, it's just the friendship rein. Yeah, you don't have to appraise reins in the randomizer, which is cool. They just come pre-appraised. And you start with the max level reen box, which is also nice. Darn, we there's we can't do anything right now. I guess we should go to the hero's cave. Cause unless <laughs> Maybe you just always get the sword in the hero's cave, because and if we don't get the sword, there's not much we can do. We Hi Octorok. Oh, that's right. We have to enter in the old-fashioned way. I love the overworld music in this game. I know it shares the overworld music with uh, Link's Awakening, which came first, but I know it as the Oracle Games overworld. Nice to see I still remember the Hero's Cave pretty well. I got Ricky's flute! Oh, yes! Ricky is best animal. Aren't you supposed to get a key there, though? Oh, I know where the small key's gonna be. We have to get the sword somewhere. Okay. Huh. Where can we summon Ricky? 
Yeah, Ricky's definitely the most fun and easiest to control. I also do like Moosh. I know a lot of people hate Moosh, but I like Moosh more than Dimitri. Unless we're talking about Dimitri from Free Houses. For me, Dimitri was just so slow, and his bite was kind of wonky. At least Moosh could just kind of fly over everything. Okay, if it's winter time, is there anything we can do? Oh, and Dimitri from Backyard Baseball, obviously. Oh. What kind of seeds are down here? Mystery seeds, but they're on the fire tree. Cool, cool. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the top part of the overworld, and I hope we can summon Ricky, otherwise we're just stuck. Oh wait, no, the mayor gives you a free Gasha Seed, but it's probably gonna be something different. Almost forgot. Hey, dude. <laughs> Rule! Oh, that's... It's still just a Gasha Seed? Oh, man, I thought he'd give me, like, a sword. This is one of those Game Boy Color games that really has stood the test of time. Like, it's one of those... Most Game Boy Color games, I find it's hard to go back and play them. But, not this one. Alright, Ricky, are you gonna come to my rescue? Yes, he is! Oh, thank you. I'm not sure how far Ricky will be able to take me, but... So that's Lon Lon Ranch. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness it's winter here. Oh, this is weird! Getting to sequence break in this whole well, sequence break. It's randomizer, but still. This is kind of surreal. Wait. Can we... We can't go to the Unicorn's Cave backwards, I don't think. The randomizer can change the default seasons in the different areas, but it looks like Eyeglass Lake is still winter by default. And Horon Village is still, like, it can be any of the seasons anytime you enter or exit. If we go up here... Okay, no. Unicorn's Cave is still off-limits. Oh, but Ricky can destroy... Snow with his bare hands. Can Ricky destroy Ember Seed trees with his bare hands? Or is that still off-limits? Okay, he's, he can't destroy those. That's... that's fair. Oh no, don't... I have a bad feeling. They might want me to grind up rupees using Ricky just to buy something from the shop. That would suck if that's the case. You can't punch rocks, can you? No. Okay. Can Ricky go to Horon Village, I wonder? He can! Interesting. I did not know you could take Ricky and Horon Village. I, again, I don't think this is going to help a whole lot, but alright. Hmm. That we can't do anything with. So this... <laughs> We might have to literally save up money for bombs. I think that's what we have to do. I think we have to buy bombs from the shop, and then we can blow up some stuff in the town. So... Oh, actually, no, wait, no! That's right! If we can take Ricky here, we can enter this part of the Hero's Cave and continue it. That's where the small key is. Oh. 
Okay, that's cool. So, I wonder if the sword is always in the Hero's Cave. We're about to find out. Okay, we got bombs, so we at least don't need to buy them. I still kind of want the sword. But at least now there's some stuff we can blow up in Horon Village. Eek! Forgot about those pits there. Thus far, all the seasons are the same based on what they are in uh, the vanilla game. Alright, thank goodness it's winter here, though, because now we can use bombs to blow up the cuckoo guy's house. Oh, that's just another gaseous seed dug on it. I'm actually not sure if Ricky is faster than Link is normally, but Ricky can punch the obstacles out of the way, so... Kinda need him. Can Ricky collect the seeds for us? No. We would need the satchel anyways. Alright. Something good? Seed satchel filled with ember seeds? Power bracelet? I'll take it. Oh, that's right, I haven't been writing down what we have on the tracker. Whoops. Okay, we have Power Bracelet, we have the Flute. Alright, Power Bracelet actually opens up quite a bit, we can now go north. There we go. Off to North Horon. <laughs> What's up, Madagascar Dave? Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Dimitri's the only one who can actually eat the seeds. Interesting. Okay, we got the Pegasus seed tree there. Does Bueno still have the boxing gloves? Or is Bueno's gym... I don't know. He must not. Oh man, can we actually go to the Sunken City already? Because <laughs> I think we're not technically supposed to be able to get to the Tatsu Prairie just yet, but... Okay, I don't need a Fairy Fountain. I'm only missing a Quarter Heart. Do 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 do! Bueno has a random item. Good to know! Not entirely sure why I keep going this direction. Actually, no, I should not be going to Sunken City yet. Because Ricky will just leave once we get there, and I will be kind of stuck because I don't have Rock's Feather. Or, you know, a sword. Once I get the shovel, though, my money problems will go away. <laughs> Actually, wait, I need money for Bueno's gym anyways, so... I'll come back there later. <laughs> I love how Ricky can punch tornadoes. This makes an already cool character even cooler. Wait a second, if I leave Ricky here, is he just gonna be like, I need my boxing gloves? Oh, hey, Maple! <gasps> oh, I want the rain. Ah, you hit Maple! 
You got the red joy rain! Oh, that's right. Nice. Do I, I get it immediately? No, I have to go back and actually talk to the rain seller. Red joy rain? I can't remember. I think that's double hearts. Double hearts or double rupees, I believe. Yeah, because you don't have to appraise them, it'll just tell you what you get, which is a really nice touch. I like that. I'm gonna keep my eyes out for the red rain. <laughs> or the blue rain. Both are great. Oh, that's right. Running into Maple actually means I can challenge Blano now if I want. Let's head to Spool Swamp, though, and see what's there. Also, yeah, none of the seasons thus far have been... Their default seasons have been randomized. Everything has been exactly as it normally is. Doink, doink. Okay, here we go. Spool Swamp is now different. Normally, it's Autumn. You don't need the Rain Cellar in Random, just go to the menu and equip it. Oh, that's cool. Is this double rupees? Beast drop double rupees. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's so good. I love that a lot. Thanks for the tip, Dave. That's very nice to know. I'm going to have to use a bomb on the switch, I think. Nope, that doesn't even work. I'm pretty sure we can't do anything down here, but you know- Ow. Oh, that's right, there is nothing down there. Well, that was a fat waste. I think we just got really, really lucky with the default seasons in a lot of the areas. Alright, let's go fight Blano. Maybe he has the sword. And we have enough rupees so that if I actually fail, I can retry it, because I have failed against Blano before. I normally find him incredibly easy, but there was one time I, when I played when he like beat me ten times in a row. Yeah, I love the quality of life improvements on the, the Zelda randomizers. They're really nice. <laughs> it's gonna make it hard to go back and play the vanilla games again. <laughs> Looking at you, Ocarina and Majora. Hey, Bueno. I'm the legendary champ Bueno! Let's bet 10 rupees in the rain. There we go. Yeah, I lost! You fists of golden, champ! Oh, it's the floodgate key. Doggone it. Should've gone to Bueno before going to Spool Swamp. Actually, wait, I can't insert that. Okay, interesting. Alright, folks, guess we're going off to Sunken City. Because we can cut... <laughs> Even if we can't do anything in Sunken City, we can cut to the Woods of Winter from Sunken City. Actually, I just... No. We can't fight Great Moblin until we have the flippers. I forgot about that. I'm like, can we fight the Great Moblin now, because we actually have the Power Bracelet? Nope. Oh yeah, we have... Um, whoop. Floodgate Key. Tornado Punch! Honestly, Ricky would be a pretty awesome assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. Very obscure, but... <laughs> I don't know. He would be fun. He would also be very dangerous. <laughs> or maybe he'd be too similar to Knuckle Joe. 
I don't know. I would just like to see Ricky again. One of the forgotten legends of Zelda. The Oracle games, I feel like, are the most forgotten Zelda games. Everyone remembers Link's Awakening, but very few people remember the Oracle games. You, boy, it's the greater Moblin's realm. Yeah, we can't do anything in here. Yeah, it smells like medicine! Rats. Oh, hey, we can use the launch flower anytime we want. Can, wait, can we go to Snake's Remains? All we can go to Snake's Remains right away, without the sword. Actually, I don't think we can do anything in here without Ember Seeds, but we can try. I'm pretty sure... No, we actually can go this way. That guy just jumped off the cliff on his own accord. The Rod of Seasons has been blessed with a Spreen Dew? <laughs> really? Um, which one of those is Spreen? I think... That's Summer, I think. Or is that Summer? Summer is Vines or Snow? I'm gonna say it's... That one. I don't... That's how I'm gonna remember that it's Spring. <laughs> spring, Summer, Fall, Winter. Going in clockwise order. Oh, right. This is not what I wanted. Rod of Seasons can't... No, it can push them back, but that's about it. Ouch. Oh, what do you... Okay. No, I'm not... I'm not dealing with that room with just bombs as my only offensive option. Not happening. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. The... I am stupid. The Rod of Seasons literally has the icon right next to it. Okay, we have Sprain. More mystery seeds. Where are the ember seeds at? Ouch. <laughs> That's a heavy flower. Summer, fall, winter, spring. Not the order of the seasons that I remember them in. <laughs> okay, so we're... We can't actually reach Rosa right now. <laughs> I actually would like a heart refill, Great Fairy. Alright, well, with the Rod of Seasons... Let's see, we can change things to Spring. I'm not sure where that would help, though. Hmm. I would love to get Gale Seeds pretty soon. Flute's notes fell flat. Fine, I'll call it up here. It's... No! Doggone it. Ugh. If you set the tech speed to 5, then... That can happen. Alright, well, let's see. Where can we change it to spring where it would be beneficial to us? That has the love, love, love the seed guy inside. He don't do anything. Or actually, wait, doesn't he expand our seed satchel? If we say we like his song? Or he's, does he just refill our seeds? Yes, I agree. 
never mind, he fills our satchel. Oh, that's right, if you talk to him after you have every type of seed, then he can expand your seed satchel. Oh man, well, this is... This is tough. Were there some areas of rocky flowers that I forgot about? We couldn't do anything in woods of w in the woods of winter area because it was always in spring to begin with, and everything was out of our reach. Oh wait. Actually, wait, could we summon Ricky there? Okay. Overworld navigation is very annoying if you don't have the Gale Seeds. Take <laughs> and if you can't use the Subrosia portals. Okay. I think I forgot to actually take Ricky around the Woods of Winter area, specifically near Snake's Remains, and I think there's at least one thing we can check with him over there. And given the extremely small amount of checks that we can do, it's probably something important. Yeah, this game has a very small amount of just, like, generic chests for us to check. Most of the stuff is in dungeons or key story items, so... Hey, Nintendo Addict! Uh, yes, this is a fane. I'm trying it out for the first time, and it's... We still don't have the sword yet! Which is difficult. I basically am relying on Ricky to do everything for me. We have bombs, the power bracelet, Ricky's flute, and then the spring filled rod of seasons. Okay, we can jump up here, but all we can do is just change it to spring again. Oh, but wait! Oh my gosh, we can sequence break and Snake's Remains. There's the sword at last! Alright. Now we juicin'. Ah yes, this room. Oh, I hope we have enough bombs. We don't. Crud. And that Deku scrub is... <laughs> selling them for way too high a price. Actually, is it 30 rupees? 10 bombs for 30 rupees? Fine. I don't want to, but I will. In this, For the sake of... Clearing out the dungeon. Always put the sword on the B button? I disagree. For this game, I always put it on the A button. Which is weird, because for El other Zelda games, I do put sword to B, but... Not not the Oracle games. Okay, it's the boss key. The snakes re Wait. Snakes Remains can't just have... That's true, Zelda 1, it's fixed to A. Oh, you know you know why I set it to A? Because in Oracle of Ages, when you get the mermaid suit, that's the only way you can use the sword underwater. That's actually not the reason, but it helps. The real reason is literally just I'm weird, and I've, this is how I've always done it. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Hello, little snakey. Well, gee, we might be able to clear the dungeon really quickly. <laughs> well, the sword is definitely going to open up a lot. Now we just really need Ember Seeds. Hello, Mr. Flomp. Yeah, I'm... Again, it's so weird, because this is... A, a, <laughs> This and Zelda 1 are- and Zelda- actually no, Zelda 2 it's mapped to B as well. This and Zelda 1 and Oracle of Ages are the only ones that I have the sword mapped to A. I 
I'm just weird. I'm also on the lookout for that shovel. Because then I can dig my troubles away. Oh, shoot. Locked door. Rats. Hmm. Hey, Marty! How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to Oracle of Seasons Randomizer. You thought this dungeon was obnoxious, Marty? I can't remember how how far you made it in this. Well, there's our first of probably many game overs. Why does it take me all the way back here instead of to the dungeon entrance? What a jip! Why did it not spawn me at the dungeon entrance? Was it because I didn't technically enter it the main one? I bet you made it to the 6th dungeon. The 6th dungeon is by far the toughest. Ancient Ruins is, uh, not nice. Alright, let's try this again. This time going in the main entrance. At least to get the snake chest. It's payback time, snakes. You look so doggone cute, but you're not. There's our key. You have to use the main entrance for it to set the choke point, apparently. Well, we can't go any further in the main entrance because we don't have ember seeds. It's, it don't matter. Yeah, the snakes are just so happy to be in the game. It's hard to hate them. Just jump up there. Thank you. I think this is the only dungeon in the game that has two en mo more than one entrance. It's kind of weird that it was only used for this one. It's the map! It's the map! It's the map! It's the map! Ooh! Super Luigi Galaxy! Ah, uh, racing the spooky speedster. Secret room! <laughs> Never too much money. There's actually kind of a lot to buy in this game, so... At least once we get the secret card. I love big boy money's rupee cash. Oh good, I used my small key to get another small key. This is one of the few rooms where scent seeds would actually be really nice. But we get did it without him. <gasps> oh, the green rain! Oh, I didn't even have that equipped? Wow. Okay, green rain is pretty doggone good. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Extra damage and less damage taken? <laughs> yes, please. I mean, if I get the red rain, I'm equipping that in a heartbeat, but still. Green rain is definitely one of the best rains I could have gotten early on. Alright. Oh, yeah. Those hard hat beetles are a pain... Oh, that's right. You played this on the 3DS, Marty. 
Which, this game would be weird to play with the 3DS, like, analog... Not quite analog stick, but, like, the... The circle pad. The best part of the Oracle games is how big your sword is. It's amazing. Oh boy! Mini boss time. It's face from Nick Jr. Um, it's face from Nick Jr. Wow, he wouldn't spawn if there was a bomb already there. That's kind of smart of him. Take this facade. I love how the boss of the sixth dungeon in Link's Awakening got nerfed to be the mini-boss of the second dungeon of the Oracle of Seasons. That's how bad he is. <laughs> exactly, Nintendo Addict. You, you and I have the exact same thought. This wall is cracked. It looks like it could be broken. Thank goodness it doesn't say that every two seconds like in Link's Awakening. <laughs> wow, this looks heavy. Rabbits hate music. Oh, the freaking turntables, man. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm missing quite a few chests. Oh, one of them I'm missing from... Okay. I think what this means is that uh, King Dodongo is going to drop a small key. Hello, King Dodongo. I remember as a kid, after throwing him on the spikes in the center, I remember him bouncing around and you having to hit him with your sword, but it's not how it was. The one Zelda game you beat was Ocarina of Time, right, Marty? That's that's the big one you gotta beat. Goodbye. Oh yeah, Pull's voice dies to the flutes really easily. Oh, I got a ribbon. Okay. Rosa will definitely date me now. You got the gift of time and essence of nature. All three of those are great games, Marty. I don't like Wind Waker as much as some people, but nothing against it. Ouch! You can't carry mystery seeds like that. What do you mean, ouch? <laughs> oh man, it, I burned my hand trying to get that mystery seed in here. Hmm. Marty, you also need to play Majora's Mask with how much you like it. Despite never having played it. I don't think Ricky can jump over water, but... Oh, he can! Well, if I lined it up correctly, he could. This is why it's good to check. Okay, wonderful. Now here's a question. Do I actually have to do the stealth mission with Rosa? No, I don't. Off to Sabroja! Snowhead's a kind of fun dungeon. This is the Subversion Dance Hall! I definitely want to dance. Nope. I am super good at this. Madagascar Dave, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. No! 
I've pushed the wrong direction. Darn it. I'm really good at this, fails at the subversion dance. I could not do this when I was, like, six years old. It was too hard. Come on, just give me the prize. You're a pretty good. You're our best dancer. Oh boy, the Rod of Seasons has been blessed with the wintry chill. Excellent. Alright, that is the ice cube. Alright, cool. I powered up the Rod of Seasons, just not in the Temple of the Seasons. That guy's having fun with his boomerang. Good for him. I didn't announce I was starting. Well, I always start at the same time on Mondays and Wednesdays. If it didn't pop up under my Twitch streams, that's the bot's problem. I'm sorry, though, Proxima. Digging for the ore chunks. It's hard to dig for the ore chunks without having a shovel. Oh yeah, what's actually the- what is the Rod of Seasons turned into? Alright, it's gonna give me the power of the four seasons, combined together to create a piece of heart. <laughs> I'll take it, I haven't gotten any heart extensions yet. <laughs> now I'll bring the Rod of Seasons to us, the spirits in the towers. <laughs> if you go to those towers without the Rod of Seasons, do they do anything? I wonder. Alright, let's go to the ice cube room. I love how you don't even need the boomerang from the subversion dance hall, you can just use a bomb instead. Think outside the box. Alright, lovely lady. Thank you for coming, child of the hand. Ah, uh, Din is our dear friend. Now, we will bestow upon you this special power. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? I got the red ore. That's the blue ore. Okay. <laughs> That's the power of winter, apparently. Not the blue ore. The red ore is the power of winter. Do, do, do. Oh wait, nope. We can't do anything else in the temple. At least not until we convince Rosa to date our pathetic selves. But it's okay, we can bribe her with a ribbon, and just like in real life, that'll make them go out with us. Subversion is a, a really interesting, like, sub-world. Ah, yeah, man, without Rock's Fever, I don't think there's much we can do here. It's the Subversion Smithy. I only have half the ore that we're gonna need. Man, it's been a hot minute since I've been to Subrosia. I want to see the Oracle Games remastered as well, and because we got the Link's Awakening remaster, it might happen. Hi, Ricky. Did you miss me? <laughs> giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up! Ride him, cowboy! <laughs> oh, you're on Bouldergeist! The Daredevil version, or just the regular version? Oh, hey! Gasha Seed! Danger! Like likes! <laughs> Sprina Sprun! Oh, that's right. Magnetic gloves. 
I wasn't the biggest Link's Awakening fan either, mainly because I played the Oracle games first, and they're definitely, like, improved. Like, they've improved the UI so much compared to Link's Awakening. It's not a bad game. There are definitely parts of it I like, and but I think the Oracle games are definitely superior. At the very least, the dungeons are better. <laughs> oh no, I'm trapped! <laughs> one tree is blocking me, and I... Oh my gosh, if I want to go back to Horon Village because that one tree is blocking me, I literally have to take such a long detour. <laughs> you know, that's a legit reason to do it. Man, yeah, if we want to go back to Horon Village, we literally are going to have to go all the way through the Tatsu Wasteland. Or the Matsu, pr whatever you call it. Oh, well, Top Maniac is very easy. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have to trek all the way through here just to go back to Horon Village. Doink! Yeah, I'm starting to think we may not be able to do this all in one weekday stream, unless I want to go to bed really late. <laughs> maybe maybe once we get the seed satchel and gale seeds, things will pick up. But right now it's just a lot of trekking back and forth. Although we did beat Snake's Remains already, but... We need to beat every dungeon in order to beat the game, so... Yeah, I don't see that happening this stream. <laughs> Still very fun to play this, though. Don't tell me there's a pit. <laughs> okay, don't be a crud butt, little gooey guy. I was kind of in a no-win situation, because I could either play Sockworks, which wouldn't be long enough to take up an entire stream slot, or I could play this, and in which case it would take too long. Yeah, yeah, this will definitely make the Oracle games a bit more fun to play. In the middle of my stream, just switch to Sockworks. Probably not. Also, why is the switch that fixes the bridge just not there? Is the Northern Peak still winter? Yes, it is. Alright. Well... Oh! I'm gonna just go to Spool Swamp real quick. Because now that I have the sword, I can actually hit that switch. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Shaggy? <laughs> different, different game, but... <laughs> yeah, they do look a bit like Wabuffet. Wonka Wonka. Alright, yeah, I I really hope we get the Seed Satchel very soon. Oh my gosh, I forgot I can change things to Winter now. Doggone it! I shouldn't have left the freaking Woods of Winter! Oh my gosh. This is turning into a train wreck. This better be something good. That's not something good. It's not bad, but it's not going to help me get to the dungeons. And I'm pretty sure we can't do anything in here. Yeah, not without Pegasus Seeds. Well, fantastic. At least we can go to Horon Village and buy some stuff from the shop. Yeah, just shove a seed in the lock. Why didn't I think of that? I hope when we get the seed satchel, it comes filled with gale seeds. Pegasus seeds 
Flippers and Fever would all be very good items to get. Yes. Darn it, I should have turned the season to winter in the Woods of Winter and Snake's Remains areas. I was a big, dumb, stupid head. Oh, I hate pea hats. For some reason, you can't hit them while they're in the air. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but they can still hit you while they're in the air. Alright. Oh, hey, it's fall! That's good. We can pick the mushroom now. But first... The treasure map, I, already, I think I already know where the... Actually, the treasure map... Will it show the locations where the jewels originally were, or will it show the locations of where the jewels actually are in the randomizer? That's the question. Hmm. Oh, hey, the spring banana! Alright. Forgot to check that off. Forgot to check that off. I think that's everything. Dude. <laughs> Your computer said die and watch an Eminem Christmas ad. As far as ads go, that's not the worst you could get. Hey, Gasha Seed, what you gonna give me? The Cursed Rain! Hey! Well, if this was my original Let's Play, then I'd be happy to see that. But the fact is, it isn't, Woody. Guess what, guys? We get to trek all the way back for the Tatsu Prairie again! Yay! <laughs> because I forgot to check something. Okay, it shows you where they are currently. So that could help speed things up in the future, but right now I think I need to save my money. Either that, or there's like a cave with gen just a generic chest and rupees that I'm forgetting about, but I'm pretty sure we gotta go back to Woods of Winter. Yes, Marty, we have Costco pumpkin pie at home. I know how much you love those. I am pumped for Thanksgiving. Trust me, I, I could use a break from work. <laughs> I say as I'm sitting in my lounge chair, leaning back, playing... Well, that was an interesting way to die, Ricky. Oh boy, good luck with Daredevil Boulder, guys. You're gonna need it. One of the toughest stars of the game. I mean, it's nothing on Underwater Cosmic Luigi Race, but... Alright. <laughs> Look, Marty. I know that you're working hard, too. I just haven't taken a vacation day from work in a while. I think I haven't taken one a vacation day from work since, like, July. <laughs> Man, I could use a medic. Mmm, I'm sorry to hear that, Nintendo Addict. But I guess it's not surprising, given Thanksgiving week and all that. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, that's really precise. Okay. Aha! That freezes over. But there's nothing in here. Oh, but that's telling you that there's a magnetic glove thing on the other side. And Ricky spawns behind mushrooms. Great. 
Oh, you have an ear in Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Marty. That sucks. Understatement of the year, I know. Hey, Leavers. Oh, hey, Maple! Do, 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 do. Oh, man. All the stuff new spawned near her. Ha! Gotcha. Man, Ricky is hard carrying me in this early part of the game. <laughs> Literally. He can punch away the snow drifts for me, he can hop over the pits. Alright, give me my prize. Ah, oh, it's vanilla. That's fine. This is a game where I like to have some heart containers. Ricky is definitely best boy. Oh yes, we can- oh yes, we can do the Santa mission. Flipper locked. Jink. Yeah. I I honestly don't like Dimitri that much. Moosh is fun. I like I like flying with him. Oh. Hello, Ferrar. Ah, you startled me! You're not Santa! I like how Santa exists canonically in the Zelda universe because of this. Wait a second, if Santa exists in the Zelda universe, that means that Jesus exists in the Zelda universe? <laughs> that just adds a whole bunch of wrinkles to fans. Although I guess that's not really a surprise, because, like, the shield has a cross on it in Zelda 1, and Zelda 2, the cross is literally an item. Give me my Gasha seed. I got the green holy ring! That's half... Damage from electricity, I believe. Not bad. Alright. Whatever's in the windmill, it better be something important. Because, like, seriously, I've been trekking all over the place... And if it's if there's nothing here, I don't know where else I can look. It's piece of heart. Okay, um hmm. I'm genuinely not sure where else there is for me to look then. I'm still locked out of Sunken City, because I can't jump. Hmm. Still no Seed Satchel, either. Oh, Standing HP and Gasha Seeds are not randomized. Well, I didn't think Gasha Seeds would be, but... Uh, yep. The where the heck am I supposed to go part. Exactly. I think I did everything in Sabrosia. One check in Dungeon 2? I don't think I can go there, because I don't have the Ember Seeds. You again.
One check next to the Santa check? You mean, like, in the cave? Because the cave was flipper-locked, I thought. From the top and backwards. Okay. I think I get ya. Ah. I didn't even see that. Thank you, Mr. Dave. It's the whis- the whispering. It's the whispering, so that's half- no damage from electricity at all. No effect from jinxes. Okay, that's decent. No! No! He ate my iron shield! What a crud butt. Huh. Let's see. I don't think there's anything in the prairie. I can't progress in Spool Swamp if I don't have the Pegasus Seeds. I don't think there's any of our Sabrosia portals. <gasps> Wait a second. Actually, no. I think the Eyeglass Lake portal is locked behind flip er, Flippers. I think. Not entirely sure, I suppose. It's been a while since I've played this game. I don't think I can do anything else in Dungeon 2 until I get access to the torches. AKA the Ember Seeds. But maybe there is something left I can do here. Actually, wait, I think I think I just didn't backtrack enough. Like, I backtracked to the secret rupee room, but I didn't go below it. So I actually, yeah, I think I can go back. Watch this have something really crucial that I could have gotten, like, an hour ago. Like a half hour ago, I guess. Yeah, I didn't go down. So this is gonna have a small key, which allows me to access the key block later on. Yeah. Okay. Then there's one more chest later in the dungeon. So I said I was hoping for a seed satchel filled with Gale Seeds. I'm actually hoping for seed satchel filled with Ember Seeds. Even if I can't get easy refills on my Ember Seeds, that will make getting back to Horon Village much easier. Because right now there's one flippin' burnable tree that I just can't get past. <laughs> I just realized I could have gone back to the beginning of the dungeon and taken the mini-boss warp. Ah! I am really rusty at this. Okay, so the default seeds are going to be mystery seeds, then. The worst kind.
Okay, we gotta go high up. That's the sound Link makes. Hey up! Better be something good. Oh, great. <laughs> That's not good. Maple again? We're making out like it's a cash money gold mine. Okay, well, Snakes Remain says nothing. Great. It was $30, Madagascar Dave. It was $30. Oh, 50. I'm sorry. Much better. Is there something else we can do in, like, the snowy shore area? I don't think so. Guess we're trekking through that flippin' prairie again! Actually, no. Before I take the giant leap to be like, I'm going trek for the ferry, I'm gonna go back to Sabrosia to see if I missed something. I'm assuming you only get one prize that's randomized from the dance studio. And it's not like, oh, if you do the dance, you can randomly get the seed satchel. Okay, there's nothing in that house. Do do do. No, I don't think there's anything here, then. Again, without rocks forever, I can't escape this first area. Just the one dance prize. Okay. Interesting how that piece of grass is now just missing. That's not how it was in the <laughs> prior to the randomizer. All right. Also, only one prize from Blano. Getting just a little bit annoyed at having to go through this area a whole bunch, because there's just nothing here. There's gotta be, like, a one-off chest somewhere on the path to Swool, Spool Swamp that I've just missed. Or maybe something now in Eyeglass Lake? I don't know, man, this is... It's probably just because I'm not as familiar with Oracle of Seasons as I am with Majora and Ocarina now, but this randomizer seems a lot more difficult. And it probably has to do with there's just nowhere near as many, I'll say, junk places to check. Like, Ocarina of Time has, like, tons of chests that just have, like, five rupees in it for you to check that could have important things, whereas Oracle of Seasons, it's kind of only the big, only the big ones. All right. You got caught by Twitch Auto Mod? Oh my gosh, freaking Auto Mod. That's weird. It didn't. The Auto Mod did not pull up on my phone.
I blew up everything in Horon Village, I think. So I'm just checking. This is guarded... F er, portal is... Yeah, portal is flipper locked. And I can't enter Unicorn's Cave without learning the autumn. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. I did not check Meku Tree. Thank you, Dave! Yes, you are correct. Meku Tree normally gives you the Gnarled Key, which I totally forgot about. Yep, and you need the sword to open the gate, so I didn't check there at the very beginning. That's probably it. Hey, Ricky, you want to... Oh, well. Bloop. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know about the exposition. Just give me my prize. No, you shall not repeat it. Well, there we go. Rock's Feather. Guess what? We get to trek through the freaking prairie again! So now we can go to Sunken City. Actually, no. Well, we have to trek through the prairie there regardless, but... Sunken City, we can check. We can also check the Woods of Winter and go to Subrosia and jump over all the stuff there. How many times have I gone through the Tatsu Prairie or whatever it is now? This is like the eighth time. Sure, feels it feels like the twentieth time. Well, Ricky, we won't be together for that much longer. Uh, I don't think we can go to D three until Pegasus Seeds or Flipper has been found. No, I think I've had enough of Maple at this point. Ricky, can you please come to me when I call you? I'll want a shield for the third dungeon. That's tr Ricky. Are you serious? Now watch Ricky pop up on the bottom. There we go. Oh, you can jump the bridge before it retracts. I can also cut over towards that area. Actually, no, I can't with Subrosia. All right. Mm. Nah, I've, I've committed. I'm already going for the Tetsu Prairie. I bet we'll find Ember Seeds or Scent Seeds in the Sunken City. It's like, nope, the only Ember Seeds tree is locked in Tarm Ruins. That would be irritating. <laughs> my gosh. Uh, if only my knowledge of the game was better, I could have avoided all this backtracking. Alright, we can always see what's here in Sunken City. What kind of seeds are here? Oh, wonderful, Ember Seeds. As soon as I get a bag that can carry those... That monster was not here a while ago. Yes, yeah, so let's give these little children bombs. What could go wrong? Hey, Dimitri. Mm -hmm. 
Stuff in Tarm Ruins is easy to get out of logic? Really? All right. So question, are the flippers randomized? And if they are not, and we don't get flippers here, will Dimitri still leave us after we get whatever this is? Rod of Seasons has been blessed with an autumn breeze. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Is that the, okay. Apparently autumn is the vine. That does not make any sense. Oh, Ember Seeds are easy to get out of logic. Okay. Well, we, we can't go to the Master's guy anyways, because we don't have the plaque. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. That makes sense. We found the Rod of Seasons in the chest. Okay. Well, now that we have Autumn and Rock's Fever, we can go to Woods of Winter. Can we take Dimitri out of the Sunken City, or is he going to be like, Well, if you're leaving Sunken City, see you later, chump. Yeah, okay. He won't let us go. He's afraid of the Keen Moblin. Oh, there's a chest next to the Master? Really? This is why I'm glad I have M Mr. Dave here. You're helping me avoid backtracking. I love it. Thank you. You kind, kind sir. <laughs> oh, that's right. There is a chest in here. If it's something important. A heart container. I will happily take that. <laughs> it's weird how Dimitri's like... It's cool that you can get a Dodongo you can ride. It's weird that they're really good at swimming, which is not the case in any other Zelda game. Alright, well now that we have this, there's a certain Autumn Cave we can enter. <laughs> oh, Ricky! <laughs> I like... Ricky's unique ability is something that n you can never do without his help. Jumping up ledges. Oh, doggone it. Ugh, it's the magnetic cave's chest. Okay, Ricky, you're trapped in with the mushrooms, buddy. Oh, that's right! The Golden Beast! Definitely want to slay him. You know Artie's crazy when he's trying to slay the Golden Beasts. I don't know if the Red Ring actually gets ran- I, 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 would, I would assume the Red Ring gets randomized in some way. Alright, off to Sabrosia, because now with Rock's Fever, the world is our oyster. Oh yeah, I have Rock's Fever now. Yoink! Oh, that's right, that just leads to the Boomerang Cave. Yoink! Oh, how is this going to work with the guys who steal your feather normally? Because normally, you have to come out of the pro portal and then jump, and then it immediately gets stolen. I, oh, I wonder how that's going to work. Ooh, free money. I got the power ring level free? <laughs> wow. Alright, so we just got to be careful. <laughs> Not to get hit. <laughs> Probably gonna backfire on me, but... 
You know what? I, I live dangerously. In video games. Alright, I think we have to go over towards the temple area in order to reach the area with Rosa without opening those. Yeah, here we go. Yoo-hoo, Rosa! This takes me to Spool Swamp. Oh, hey, convenient, it's summer, which means... Hey, Golden Octorok. This soft earth is so great for planting trees. Oh, I hate those enemies. But with Power Rain level 3, ha-cha! Yeah, one of the shrines does require the feather to go through. Oh, barnacles. We need to change it to winter. Oh, thank goodness those enemies don't regrow, regrow after you leave the screen and come back. Although he did. Didn't that used to be a set of grass behind pits? Oh no! Oh crap! Power Rain level 3 betrayed me. Where am I going to end up here? Oh, thank goodness. That is right. Power Rain level 3. Live dangerously. Okay, you know what? If I have to deal with enemies who I literally can't even touch with my sword, I'm going back to the green rain. I forgot how annoying those flowers are. For some reason, the flowers are indestructible? Unless you have, like, moosh. Oh, darn it! I came from the wrong direction. Okay, just kill me. I want to go back to Subrosia. <laughs> They understand me there. Here, we can get a date with Rosa. What a cute ribbon! Yes, this is for you. I still can only see the subversions as, like, blobs of goo, and not robed figures like I think that they're supposed to be. Hey Rosa, want to get a power with me? It's gonna be great! Oh man, I think we should go on a date. I'm gonna take you to the most romantic place in the whole city. Where? The Temple of Seasons. Uh... Not in my top five ideal date spots. But also not in my bottom five. Oh hey, ore chunks. I need those. Alright, Summer's Fairy. What you gonna give me? Excuse me. You have, are an adorable hero. I know, I'm so adorable. What you gonna give me? A heart container. Yes, please. Especially now that I have Power Rain level 3. High HP will actually be pretty useful. Alright, Rosa, but the date doesn't have to end there. There's another locked door somewhere in the city. I actually don't know if I can reach it without Rock's cape, though. Alright, thanks Dave for all your help, and thanks for joining in! Have a great rest of your night! Yeah! Good to know, thank you very much. 
I think at this point I'm a bit back on track. Although it is 9.30, <laughs> so... I can't stream forever, but I'm, I'm having fun now. So I want to keep playing. That leads to the Boomerang Cave. Rosa, can I take you back to the real world? No? Alright. Wanna go dancing? I think it's right up here. No, it's not. That's right, that's where you can make the zoop. Somewhere around here. I think it's right and then down. Yeah, okay, it's down on this screen. There we go. Ah, it's just a Gasha Seed. There's another house here somewhere where there's a pit we can jump over and get a free thing. It might be that house. Oh wait, no, that house is actually... Yeah, that's the smithy, never mind. Look, Rosa, a volcano! How romantic! That lava's like my love bubbling over for you. Dude, you literally just gave me a ribbon. Like, it's a little early to be going into that. What's here at the market? Bunch of rings. Do I get to see what the ring is before I buy it? I must be honest, I was hoping for more stuff here in Subrosia. Alright, I guess we're gonna trek through the prairie again! Rosa, wanna trek through the Hatsu Prairie with me? Or the Tatsu Prairie? Whatever it is. I'm gonna look it up, actually. Once we get back to Holodrum. Natsu Prairie, not Tatsu Prairie. Gonna trek for the Natsu Prairie again! Hmm. My favorite! Can we make this the last time we have to trek through it? Gonna go to Hall I'm gonna go to Horon Village, buy another shield, and then go over to Spool Swamp for Poison Moth's Lair. Because we have the Floodgate Key, we can actually do it now. And because we have, um... What you call it? Because we have Rock's Fever, we can actually beat it. But we, but we need to have a shield going into it, otherwise we can't beat those spiky enemies. Although you can beat them with the shovel, it's just a much more difficult. But we don't have the shovel. Hey, Mobius! Oh, uh, don't worry, you haven't missed that much. You've missed me walking for the Natsu Prairie like ten times. I didn't pick Ricky. Ricky was literally given to me immediately in the Hero's Cave. I've beaten Dungeon 2 and that is it. I haven't even gotten close to the other dungeons. Although I'm heading over to Dungeon 3 right now. Yes, thankfully the RNG gods... Well, not RNG gods. Thankfully, the game blessed me with Ricky. He is he is best best boy. Yeah, the the animal that you get is randomly decided when you create the seed. And I think the reason for that is if you get the chance of choosing which animal you want, you could potentially soft lock it and make it so that it's like, oh, you chose the wrong animal, and now some things are just locked out. It's not random in vanilla. 
So for Oracle of Seasons, if you just play the game normally, you're always going to get Ricky. If you buy the flute at the shop, then you get Moosh. And if you play the Subversion Dance, you can win Dimitri's flute. I'll leave Maple alone. I'm a, I'm a man on a mission. I got the Iron Shield. Yay. Give me this as well. Treasure map. That's not on the tracker. Alright, one jewel is <laughs> at the Explorer's Crypt. One jewel is in Subrosia. One jewel looks like is in Poison Moth's Lair. OBS disconnected for no reason. Wonderful. And then one jewel is over in... Oh, another one is in Subrosia as well. Great. Walla Walla Washington, oh Walla Walla Washington, oh Walla Walla Washington. Oh, we're back. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, yeah, it looks like two of the jewels needed for Tarm Ruins are in Subrosia. One is in uh, the Explorer's Crypt, and then one is in Poison Moth's Lair, which we're heading to now. Guys, if I had it my way, none of you would have to ever watch ads on my Twitch channel. I don't see a dime of that Twitch ad money. Honestly, the only reason I stream on Twitch compared to, like, any other platform is I like all of the stuff you can do with, like, emotes and channel points, as well as how easy it is to interact with other people's streams with, like, things like rating and such. So, homie, Ricky, if you appear on top of the cliff... The code for where Ricky spawns when you call him is not very good. Alright. Do, 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 do. Now, if, as long as Dave was telling the truth, and Dave has been extremely honest and helpful up to till now, we should be able to get through this without Pegasus boots. Okay, yeah. So, he's right. Yep. Um, Dave? I don't know how he heard about my stream, but he's apparently very... Pr He's quite knowledgeable about the um, Oracle of Seasons randomizer, so he was he was helping me remind me of certain checks that I had forgotten about. Great guy. He had to leave though. Good old mom's apple pie and all that. Dave from around the world. I, um, his name was Madagascar Dave. I don't know if that's the same one or not. There are a lot of Daves in the world. Yeah, no, that's not... <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, dude. Let me share my wisdom. South of the Floodgates is a strange voice. I'm... No. Yes. Okay, at the very least, we can finish Poison Moth's Lair tonight. Yeah, that I, unless he goes by Madagascar Dave on Twitch, that's should that's not the same Dave. I'm not planting my gaseous seed there, even if I had one. Wait a second, can we even Oh thank goodness, yes, the default season is summer, so we can enter Poison Moth's Lair. Good.
So how much can we sequence break this by having the rocks fever right from the get-go? Hopefully a lot. Oh, man. Yeah, this is pretty late in the dungeon already. No flippers at this point makes it a little annoying, though. No! Stupid P-Hats. This is the dungeon that will make you hate P-Hats. Something good food for me? You never don't hate P-Hats, that means you always hate P-Hats? When you mix multiple negatives into your sentence, it can make things a little confusing- oh no. <laughs> no, I have to be patient. I hate being patient. At least in video games. IRL, I'm actually pretty good at it. Yoink! Yoink! Thank goodness Mafia left all these ladders for us. It's a small key! A small key is exactly what one would need to open a small door. Alright, what we got here? Alright. Bunch of screws to move. Yeah, pushing the trampoline, that's a fun puzzle. This is the dungeon where the puzzles actually start getting a little tricky. But it's a fun one. But Dungeons and Seasons are, I think, a lot more fun than the ones in Ages. Ages has some real stinkers, like Jabu Jabu. Oh my gosh, we found the flippers! That's nice to have. Wow, way to go, Meebot. <laughs> Artie's been streaming for over an hour and a half now. But, you're, he's streaming now. I guess this is why other... Ouch. This is why other streamers just make the announcement when they start streaming, so that way it's never missed. I guess I could start doing that as well. Hi, I gotta give it a hand to these guys. Yeah, maybe there is a better one. Me 6 is the one that most discords use, though. Uh, so I don't know. Or people could just remember that I always stream Monday and okay. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Unless I specifically announce that I won't. Oh, hey, Paul's voice. Hey, Moldorms. There's that boss key.
And we have the compass. Not that we needed it, but it's there if we want it. Oh boy, it's the puzzle that's I find way harder than it should be. Even though it's actually pretty easy. Actually, wait, does this way lead to a place I've already been? Stupid pea hat. Out of here. It actually might. Alright, way to be stingy. Oh man, I don't have a boomerang. Darn it, I've already been there. I'm on Dev's store! Do I still have the green rain equipped? I do. I should have more defense. P-hats are everything I hate. They're invincible for most of the time, and they move sporadically and quickly. And they hit deceptively hard. Uh-oh. Nope. Food for me? No food for me. Food for me? Hoping for a heart container there, but that works. Oh, thank you, hearts. It will be nice to be able to do this entire dungeon in one go. Whereas Snake's Remains, we had to go, like, five times. We didn't have to, but that's how it ended up happening. All right, time for the Blooper Brothers. <laughs> Powering level three will make this fight faster. Oh man, spin attack wasn't enough. There we go. Okay, I think there's just one more chest, honestly. I am slightly afraid to change the floors when I pull up the map, because at least in one of the emulators I used, that resulted in the emulator crashing. Not eager to replay that. Uh oh. Forgot to unequip that power ring. Oh no! Thank goodness falling in the pits doesn't increase the damage you take. Ouch. Well, I figured that was gonna happen. That's okay. We're at the boss now. So I'm going to try Mafula with the Power Rain level 3 to see how fast it takes. Or we might die immediately. It really just depends. Okay, yes. Yeah, so guys, I'm, um... We're not finishing this seed tonight. 
Silly old me, I thought maybe we could when I started up. How naive of me. Alright, hey Mafia. Alright. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the magnetic gloves! We can now do Unicorn's Cave. And we get the bright sun. I'm not sure if I want to play the Unicorn's Cave with five hearts. But it's now something we can do if we want to. And it looks like I was mis... Wait. It says one of the jewels is in here. Did I miss a chest? No, I did not miss a chest. That's very strange. That glowing thing says that there's a jewel in there, but there's not. Oh, wait. I did miss a chest. Up, left, up. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I bought the treasure map, then. Okay, so it's not connected to the there. Hmm. Oh, great. It's down a random staircase somewhere. All right, thanks, Mobius. Have a good night. Yes, yeah, so I don't exactly remember how to get to that chest in that room over there. Oh, wait, no, yes, I do. I'm so stupid. It's the locked door that we haven't gone in yet. It's, it's literally where you normally get Rock's Fever. But I left because I didn't have a small key, but now I do. Kind of takes the suspense away for what it's going to be, but... Alright, there's the round jewel. Alright. I'm going to keep playing for a little bit more. Alright. Well, now that we have the flippers, this actually opens up a good amount of stuff. So we could get a piece of art if we change it to spring, but there's actually a chest if we change it to winter that we can reach. Rude. Ricky, I need your help. <laughs> Ricky, I need your help. Because shovels still are sold out in every Costco. Oh boy, $10! Totally worth it. I do kind of want that piece of art. No, Ricky! I don't think if we turn it to autumn there's anything. No, because this se it's normally in the default autumn. In the vanilla game, the default season is autumn, and there's really nothing here in autumn. So we're going to change it to spring to get the heart piece. Because I actually think it's a worthwhile investment. Do 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 do
And guess what? We get to go through the Natsu Prairie again! Or, no we don't, if we go to Unicorn's Cave. Oh, yay. New heart. Wonderful. Can I really not swim against the current? When it's going up or down? Oh, it's the sling... It's the slingshot. Does that mean I can carry seeds now? But I can't... I can't use Gale Seeds like normal. Until I actually get the seed bag. But now I can actually collect and shoot seeds. That's inter- I have never gotten the sling shot before another. We can't get what's ever whatever is in there, because we don't have the first five essences. We can, however, go to the Subversia portal here in Eyeglass Lake. Do 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 do. Still don't have ember seeds though, so we can't burn any of those dumb old trees. However, with this, as soon as we go to the sunken city again, we will never have to track for that stupid prairie again. All right, here we go. That's the signpost guy, and the ore mill. We want to go down the volcanic pathway, though. To get the bomb flower. To get the bomb flower. I forgot about those little fireball enemies. They're like fire pokies. So is this always going to be vanilla, or am I going to pull out, like, it's like, it's a bomb flower. <laughs> no, it's the noble sword. <laughs> no, it's always a bomb flower. Or we just got lucky. Considering it doesn't appear on the tracker, I would assume it's vanilla. Alright. Well, we can break into the upper part of the Temple of Seasons. Do I want to try Unicorn's Cave tonight? Not really, honestly. I think I just want to go to Sunken City and collect as many types of seeds as I can. Can we really not leave this area of Subrosia? Oh, wait, no, we can. I think there's a way. Yeah, we're supposed to go left here, and then we come to the magnetic gloves block. Magnetic gloves are such a weird item. I kind of like them, but also kind of hate them at the same time. 20 rupees, not too shabby. I guess, yeah, for now, I think we'll just continue with the old overworld shenanigans, and we're not going to attempt any of the other dungeons. But we can continue the seed another time. Get it. SEED! Because <laughs> I'm looking for the seed satchel. It's funny. Laugh. Oh, that's a bomb flower. Let's break it open. That was great! <laughs> that was great. Alright. Fairy of Fall. What you gonna give me? 
do 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 I got a heart container. The fairies are giving me a lot of heart containers. Oh yes, and I have mystery seeds. Not scent seeds. Mystery seeds. And now we can actually explore the last part of the temple too. Because we got the magnetic gloves. And we're going to see how if they steal from us. The two uh, subversion guys. Still no shovel, though. And still no seed set. It's no... Oh, wait, no, we can't explore it because those rocks are in the way. Oh, oh no. Oh, guys, no, we don't have to trek across the prairie because... Ermagerd, because we can use the Subversion Warp shortcuts. Yes! Suck it, Natsu Prairie. I don't ever want to travel for you again, this seed. Although I... I could go through again to fight... King Moblin. I don't want to, but I could. That leads to the Like Likes area. Let's go over here. Yeah, now we can get whatever's in here. It's five rupees. Well, wonderful. I'm so glad I went out of my way to grab that. I literally found the same amount of rupees from that Moblin's corpse. Hey, you know what? I think we do have to... Or don't have to, but I think we will fight the Great Moblin. Just so we can... Say goodbye to the freaking prairie once and for all. And so we can antagonize the Great Moblin in Sunken City. I'm coming for you, Moblin King. Hey, dude. Oh, the pesky kids come. Victory will be mine. No, it won't. You need more than big bombs if you want to beat Link. You can't beat me! I can't be defeated as long as I don't drop a bomb behind me! Thanks for telling us your weakness. Haha! <laughs> Take it! That's what you get for making bombs. No good comes from that. How could the child defeat me? All that for a gaseous seed? What a rip off. Oh boy, Sunken City. Give me those ember seeds, please. And thank you. Oh my gosh.
That took way too long to get those. Now, unfortunately, we can't... We can get Gale Seeds, but we can't actually use them for anything. Can planting a Gasha Seed give you something necessary for progression? I have been told... I've been told that the Gasha Seeds do not ever contain necessary items. But you can still get potions from them, and you can still get the Heart Piece from them. But the Heart Piece will not change into anything else. I have been assured. Alright. But now we can at least create the shortcut through Woods of Winter back to Horon Village to cut out our trek significantly. And now we can start collecting the other kinds of seeds. No scent seeds, but that's fine. Scent seeds are the worst kind. Actually, they might be better than mystery seeds, at least once you know the game well enough that you don't need the mystery seeds. Because at least scent seeds can be useful for trapping enemies. Die, you stupid trees. You've been blocking my path for far too long. Well, now we can also help out the cuckoo guy. And get some rupees. Shh! Don't tell! Man, Link's allowance is pretty big. Splendid! I can finally focus! Oh, that's just... Vanilla. Oh, never mind, I'm not doing the side quest. You actually don't need to do the side quest in Oracle of Seasons if you already know the code at the end of it. Nice to see that kid is still having fun. Alright. As it so happens, we actually have everything that we need to get this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's the Gnarled Key. Alright, I know what we're gonna do last. <laughs> That's the perfect way to end the stream. We do the first dungeon. But first, I want to collect the Gale Seeds, and I want to collect the Pegasus Seeds. So the only key we're missing now is the Dragon Key. First dungeon should be really, really easy, given the given the arsenal that we have, and also the fact that it's the first dungeon. We get Pegasus seeds. How frabjuous. Hmm. I... yeah. That cursed seed satchel. I want it so badly, but... Nothing. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I could have turned it to Autumn as well to get up here. Oh, well. Hello, Gale Seeds. I'm gonna save and quit and see where it spawns me. It might just spawn me at the start of Spool Swamp. Oh, yes! Oh, that's glorious. Thank you. I was hoping for that. Much quicker pathway now to the first dungeon. But first, there's a chest we can get. Something that I probably could have gotten a while ago. Aw oh man, just a gash of seed. That's okay. First dungeon, here we come! We're gonna beat- we're gonna beat the first dungeon, and then we're calling it a stream. <laughs> Cause I'm getting tired. Gnarled Root Dungeon. First dungeon. I got the Armorine level 2! That's a good one. Good one if I'm trying to avoid damage. I'm gonna keep up the green rain, though. Doesn't give me as much protection as the Armorine does, but it also gives me a lot more power. Oh man, there's the boomerang. That's good. I'm halfway to the magical boomerang. Hey, Jay. Oh, thank you. And here I... I mean, here I was thinking, like, I could beat a seed in one go in a single weekday stream, but... Maybe not. Yeah, you should! There's literally just a website you can go to. Like, you can download this whole randomizer from GitHub, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. It did not come with an executable file, so I just went... There was also a website that you can just patch the ROM there. Much easier. And you don't have to download anything for your computer. The Pegasus Rain! Oh, that's a good one, too. Pegasus Arena is definitely helpful for ancient ruins. Oh man, I don't have a small key. Deary me! Whatever shall I do? Oh my gosh, I forgot this is just leads to a dead end. Oh, it's the boss key! Guess Aquamentis is dropping a small key for me. Oh man. 
Aquamantis with the Power Rain level 3. This is gonna be fun. Or actually, maybe not. There is a chest in the room right before him, so there actually might be a small key in here. Yeah, I bet that has a small key. Yeah. Rats. Should have gotten that one first. All right. That's okay. Dungeon's small. Very easy to navigate. Oh, wait, where did... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, where's the minecart? It was just off screen. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that there was an Oracle of Seasons and Ages randomizer, but it seems to work. It's very different from the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask randomizers, but I, I still like it. It's also different from the Link to the Past randomizer, because the Oracle games just... Well, I guess I don't know about ages, but Seasons doesn't have a whole lot of filler locations. It seems to be very rigid and, like, there's very little of, like, well, it could be in a whole bunch of places. It's often like, well, I guess I have to go to Eyeglass Lake now. Well, I guess I have to go to Spool Swamp now. All right. Grr, you cannot pass! Dude, I have the Armoring... Or, I have the Power Ring level... Wow. Power Ring! <laughs> I was kind of hoping for Vanilla Seed Satchel, gonna be honest, but I'll happily take Heart Container. Alright. Aquamendus, and then we end the stream. Uh, when was the last time you fought Aquamentus with this much power and that many heart containers? Considering it's Game Boy Color music, man, the Game Boy Color had great music for this. Alright, he didn't die, like, instantly, so that's good Good on you, Aquamentus. There we go. He couldn't last very long, though. And there's the compass. <laughs> It'll help you see where the boss is located. It's located right next to you. And here's the fertile soil. Alright, excellent. Oh yeah, we also have Gale Seeds. Can't forget about that. I guess one last thing. I, um, before I forget, I'm gonna check the secret shop. I do have a bunch of money now, so... Secret shop, and then we can say our goodbyes. Hi, dude. I am a member. Let me in. Hmm. <laughs> what could be back here? <laughs> we can get fools or regular bombs or 20 rupees. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna get the fools or. It was worth it. I think I think you can actually damage enemies with it too. Eh, eh. Oh man, that was worth a 300 rupees. Absolutely. Oh man, look at that. Important announcement: Carly Simon did a lot of the music for Piglet's big movie soundtrack. 
Okay, I am interesting. <laughs> Thank you for that, Marty. <laughs> all right, well, I believe that's all the time we have tonight. This was definitely fun to play. I will definitely try to finish this seed, but I will not be streaming again for the rest of the week, because this is going to be a busy week for me. Tomorrow I have work and Bible study, Wednesday I have work, and then guys, movie night, and then we have Thanksgiving week after, like, after, starting after that, and I'll be swamped until probably, at the very least, Sunday, but probably Monday more realistically. So, thank you all for tuning in. This was definitely a ton of fun to try out. Look forward to finishing up this seed on another stream on a future day, and... This could end up becoming a semi-regular thing alongside the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask randomizers. I definitely love Oracle of Seasons a lot, and the future seeds should go a little bit more smoothly than this one. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, a great Thanksgiving week, and God bless you.